you all probably remember these hands of mine from my previous videos, but here's the rest of me. Name is Mihail, or Mike for simplicity. Uh, funny story, actually. When I first got into uh, first year of university, I actually signed up for a student loan program with uh, Mike instead of Mihail, and I didn't spend nearly a month or so going back and forth with all the paperwork uh, because they couldn't officially recognize Mike and Mihail as the same person. Oh, lots of fun. Anyway, enough about me. Let's get to the piano. As you can see, in the past month, I've got all the keys and the key action squared away. As well as adding in the main control board so that all this sensing and stuff can actually uh, communicate properly to the uh, computer. More on this later. The computer is then running Piano Tech, which converts all the uh, MIDI notes into actual audio for you to hear. Uh, now, before I continue much further, and before most of you click away in boredom, here's a short piece that uh, just to showcase the piano in action. Uh, props to those of you who know the song. It's one of my favorites, and I'll link the video where I heard it from the first time in the description. So <laughs> that turned out rather well, I think, for three days worth of practice that I managed to get. And yeah, the entire range of 88 keys is fully playable, as you can see. And there's still some bugs here and there, so sometimes the note won't register, or sometimes the note will remain registered even after I release the key, but the firmware needs a pretty large rewrite anyway, so I'll get around to that once the hardware is fully finished, so I just focus on the software then. Now the control board that I showed previously is something I put together uh, in the last month or so. It's got connections to all the sensor boards, the serial MIDI in and out, two USB connections, the LCD panel and the rotaries for, you know, changing settings and stuff, as well as lots of uh, buttons and uh, sliders, just in case I decide to add some, you know, something to the front panel here as sort of a future proofing. I'm probably not going to do that. I kind of like to have this be sort of a clean interface. At the moment, I've got the controls so that the presets change 
when I, you know, use like the highest buttons. Uh, I'm probably gonna keep that, just make it so that I have to press like, you know, the bottom most four buttons before I do the controls or something like that. Anyway, I'll cover the control board in a lot more detail in probably the next video. Um, you know, should kind of bridge the gap between now and when the piano is actually finished because, yes, you may not have noticed it while I was uh, playing the uh, piano piece, but there's still a gaping hole where the action is supposed to be, or in other words, the Hickman piano action complete with all the hammers is just missing at the moment. And that's what I'll be working on next. So just to put this into perspective, here's the prototype unit I've been working with. And pretty much everything except for the hammers, the driving levers, and the uh, jacks down below here are already fully included in the piano as it is right now. And of course, without the hammers in place, I had to improvise a bit um, and use the magnetic sensors meant for dampener control, uh, aka note off events, to also do, do double duty for note on events, so hammer velocity movements. Um, the horrible hack that I needed to make to get the firmware to actually do this um, is not going to see the light of day, by which I mean I'm not going to talk about it. Still, it'll do its job for the one month before I finish off the Hickman action and put it into the piano, uh, at which point I can safely archive it away and uh, put in the final version of the firmware. And yeah, that pretty much covers everything up until now, so I'll just leave you off with a, a second piece that I have and uh, enjoy.